Hello there, God bless you. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel, you're welcome. If this is your first time seeing me, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I believe the Lord has a word for you through me. If not now, subsequently, please kindly stick to this channel by subscribing to it and turning on the notification bell so that whenever there is a new content, you're going to be the first to know. And if this is not your first time, thank you for always coming back. You've become my family and I love you. God laid a word in my heart and it made me restless all through the day. God laid this word in my heart and it has kept me restless all day. And I felt compelled to share this with someone. I don't know who you are. I don't know who I'm talking to. But God picked interest in your case and kept me restless all day. And someone else is going to benefit from this. If it's you I'm talking to, your spirit is going to bear witness to the spirit of this word I'm saying. You're going to know it is you I'm talking to. You're going to feel it in your spirit that this word is for you. God says, I should tell you to retrace your step. He says, you are breaking the hedge. Retrace your step. You are breaking the hedge. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 8, it says that whosoever breaks the hedge shall, the, shall be beaten by the serpent. Whosoever breaks the hedge shall be beaten by the serpent. You know, the, 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 the Bible says that the devil is going around like a roaring lion looking for whom to devour. This is because the devil cannot devour anyone or everyone. The devil has particular targets. The devil needs a portal. The devil needs a legal portal to be able to access your life. Either a portal of fear, a portal of sin, or a portal of ancestral commitment. Maybe your parents did something. Maybe they went to the village and they poured libations, calling your name, offering you to your ancestors. Maybe they did something on your head, some kind of enchantment by being your parents or your ancestors and thereby opened you up to the devil. The devil cannot just enter anyone's life just like that to destroy them. There must be a legal access. There must be a passage through which he enters. That is why he says he is going to and fro looking. There are people, there are people filled all over the world. At, at, and right about now we have over 7 billion people in the world. And the devil says he's going to and fro looking for whom to devour. It means there are criteria to which the devil can use to devour. There are criteria to which he can use to enter your life. He doesn't just enter anybody's life. There must be something you are doing wrong or something you are not doing that gives the devil access over your life. And to you that this prophetic word is talking to, God says, I should tell you, you are breaking the hedge and you're going to be beaten by the snake. You are breaking the hedge and you are going out of God's protection. The only thing that keeps us, that the devil cannot access us or the devil cannot fight us is when we are in the presence of God. The devil speaking to, to God says, have you not built a hedge of protection around Job? Have you not built a hedge of protection around Job? God has built a hedge of protection around us. But something we do or fail to do breaks that hedge of protection and gives the devil access into our life. The psalm is speaking in the book of Psalms chapter 119, he says, Before I was afflicted, I went astray. Before I was afflicted, I went astray. There is something you're going to do that is going to remove the protection of God over your head. It's going to expose you to the attack of the devil. If I'm speaking to you, you already know that thing. Your spirit is bearing witness to the spirit of this prophetic word I'm giving. You know what you are doing that is breaking the hedge of God over your life. You know what you are doing that is breaking the covering of God over your life. Once you go out of the presence of God, you become a prey to the devil. He can use you to do anything. God loves you so much. He doesn't want you to be afflicted of the devil. That is why he let this prophetic word come to you at this point in time when you can still retrace your steps. He says you are breaking the hedge. It means you're still in the process of doing it. You've not broken it completely. You can still come back to him and fix it. He says you are breaking the hedge. You should retrace your steps. It means it is not too late yet. I don't know what you're doing that is taking you out of the presence of God. Cain understood this. When God punished him after he killed his brother and God told him, right now you're going to be a vagabond upon the earth. You're going to be a wanderer. God was in other words saying, you are leaving my presence. You are going out of my presence right now. My presence is not going to cover you anymore. And Cain understood that. He told God, my punishment is too heavy for me. If I leave your presence, anyone who sees me will seek to kill me. He understood 
that the presence of God was his coverage. He understood that being under the presence of God was his coverage. And God telling him, go and become a wanderer meant that he was taking away his coverage from him. He said, yes, God, it's okay that you punish me that. It's okay that you punish me that when I, when I seal the ground, it will no longer yield for me. But if I go out of your presence, anyone who see me will seek to kill me. Please, Lord, do anything to me. Punish me. Let me suffer by tilling the soil and it yields less. But let there be a mark of protection over my head. By some means, try to keep me under your protection. And so God put place a mark on Cain's head and said, Anybody who tries to kill you will answer to me. Cain understood this. The presence of God is everything you need. You cannot afford to break the hedge of protection of the Lord over your life. You, you are going to become a prey to the devil. I don't know that thing you are doing, but it is surely not godly. You are a child of God, but that thing you are doing is surely not godly. It is something that is, taking a, that, is, that is taking you away from God or that will take you away from God. God loves you so much to bring this to you right now at this point in time when you can still fix things. God says, stop it. You are breaking the hedge. You are breaking the hedge. Let us pray. Father Lord, thank you for this wonderful prophetic word. Thank you for your son, your daughter that you that you love so much and you do not want them to suffer from the hands of the devil. Thank you, Lord, for bringing this to their notice when they can still retrace their steps. Thank you, Father, for bringing this to their notice when they can still remedy the situation, when they can still fix things. Lord, I pray that as they make contact with this video, may their hearts be convicted to believe and work according to the dictates of this video. I pray, Lord, that as they make contact with this video, may their spirits be open, may their hearts be ready to receive and retrace their steps steps as even as you have ordered even as you have told them in the name of jesus lord i soak this prophetic word in the blood of jesus and i pray that the devil shall not steal it from the heart of your children in the mighty name of jesus and father lord i intercede that even as they try to retrace their steps may you empower them may you give them the grace to come back may you hold their hand as they stretch for their hands for help to come back to where you want them to be may you hold their hand and pull them back to yourself in the name of jesus receive all the glory lord all the adoration in the mighty name of jesus amen